Being a caretaker here, it's emotionally draining. And it's like working on a project that you know it's deemed to fail. And every day you're waking up looking at the eyes of these animals and extinction is calling them on the other side. My name is James Mwenda and I'm a rhino caretaker here in Opejita Conservancy. These two red is behind me. Two of them are the northern white rhinos. Uh, the older one is called Najin. She's 28 years old. And the young one is called Fatu. She's 18 years old. The one on the far end is the southern white that uh, has been in them for a while, just in the essence of teaching them how to become natural. And also as a way we are trying to crossbreed between the northern and the southern white rhino. That's why now the scientists are working for an artificial breeding techniques to be able to save them. These two female northern white rhinos, they are the crossroads now. You know, there's this way that walks to extinction, and there's this way that walks towards being saved through in vitro fertilization. And the fact that we humans have a role in terms of protecting them, they're just giving the red lights that this is what is going to happen with the southern, and this is what is going to happen with the northern whites. It has already happened with the western black rhinos. Uh, it's, it's going to happen with the Sumatran and the Javan rhinos and the Indian rhinos. It's going to happen to more, many more species. If we don't take time and question what needs to be done, whether IVF succeeds or it doesn't succeed, at least we'll have done our best. We'll say we'll, we've given it all, our all in home. Just stay calm around you. Yeah, yeah, you know me by my smell and my voice. Mm-hmm.